Hello my convicts, convict catchers, it is I, the convict, bringing you guys and gals in the video. Excuse me, I'm not dressed yet, and it is 8.22 in the morning, as it says here, 8.22 in the morning. We have just gone to school, so I just want to kind of do this quick vlog, uh, and kind of talk about, rather than unboxing, of my new little gizmo. And, well, you could call it little but uh it's actually pretty damn big it's the ryzen 9 5950x and yes it's it now this has been something i want to do for a while we now have the highest ryzen i was playing warzone yesterday just to try it out once i got it open kind of monitoring temps and stuff and I'm getting now a good solid 150 FPS, easy. Now obviously I need to do some more tweaking and stuff. I've not done anything to it as of yet. However, I'll probably leave that for a little bit at the moment because one thing that I found out with the Ryzen, especially Ryzen 9 5950X, which works in the B450-F4, something else I needed to kind of figure out, and I kept asking questions for ages. You do need to update your BIOS, though, if you ever do do that. Excuse the hair as well. All Everything's all, all messy today, but it is 8.24, so you have to let me let me off of that. It is the morning. We have just gone to school, and I'm going to get dressed, changed, and all that, and get a shower and all that, so uh, ready for the stream. So we're going to be playing Payday 2 today. I'm just downloading that now. I've not tried VR with this experience of this new. Um, I've got a AIO coming tomorrow. And that's specifically why I wanted to talk about this as well. Because the 5950X runs very hot. Very hot. Um, it's like base temp is around about 40 degrees. And then it goes, it can ramp up extremely quickly from 40 up to between 50 and 70 degrees in temperatures. Now luckily obviously I got the new fans installed which the fans are running on a really cool program which you might not be able to see it but it's this fan program up here. I told Adam about it and it's called it's a fan control. Um, if you go on there you can actually get it's a free piece of software which is really cool because what it does is you can control all of the temperature components within your PC and you can get certain fans to run on certain temps or to speed up and slow down based on what's happening in terms of the temperatures within the case in order to keep things really really cool and obviously speed up when they need to, speed down when they need to and you can change how fast the ramp up, how slow the ramp down and stuff. There's a lot of different features I will probably put that in the description of this video, so definitely check it out. It's a free piece of software, and it's a very, very good um, piece of software. If you want me to ever do a video on it, drop a like on this video, and I'll probably do a quick video showing it off. But if you are a PC user, and you have a case that gets pretty hot, and you're not quite sure what to do next with it, then definitely take on that kind of program, because that program is godsend, especially with this as well, because the temperatures do go pretty high and I've done a lot of research around um, on the 5950X and apparently it does, it does have a base of around 40 degrees to 50 and then from 45 to 50 it can go up to about 70, 70 to 90 degrees or something, something with that out. So it is a, uh, a um, CPU that does run hot which is kind of nuts and I've been so scared of it I was like oh my god so Yesterday, I quickly took off the heatsink, which I've got a cooler tower heatsink, um, and I put reply. I put the thermal paste on. You know, obviously swapped the CPU over for the first time that time around. Did some testing. Kind of saw the high attempts, and I was like, Jesus, why is it so high? So I went through and did some reading. That's where I found out the information. And and to me myself, I was like. Nah, I don't, it don't, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right, so I went in and took off the cooler last night while Rio was asleep, replaced it, put in some more thermal compound from a different thermal compound, obviously cleaning both the, 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 um, the tower fan and the, um, 
CPU as well, as you should always do. Never put the same different compounds on a different uh, CPU and uh, on the tower if it's got a mix compound. Always make sure you wipe it off completely, then put some fresh on, and then obviously put the thing back on. Never put two together because they are de completely different. Some can be conductive and you don't want to break anything, so do be aware if you ever take off your, your, your case fan off your CPU and you're wanting to reapply more thermal paste, make sure you clean it thoroughly, get all the stuff off it, then put a fresh batch on, then put it back on. Never put it with two different types of compound, because that is bad, very bad. Um, so yeah, so I took it out for the second time, wiped it clean, put on the other one, which came that I had on the CPU before that was keeping the temperatures for the 2600 nice and cool and retried again and again it's it's still kind of like the temperatures fluctuate a little bit between 40 and 60 and um, it's like now it's around about it's around about 50 58 at the moment but that's because I've got things open I've got pages open um so yeah so i've got a a a aio i can't even say it now a water cooler coming tomorrow with a triple fan that'll probably fit to the front of the case which will probably fit to the front here where these fans are because these fans as you can see behind this dust filter i've got the new fans here and these fans are belting some air in they're pulling some air in these and then we've got these fans on top, which we could probably take this one off. And you can see we've got the fans on top here, which are also pulling some air in. Uh, pulling air out, sorry. These pull air out, these pull air in. And then you've got one exhaust fan at the back here, which is exhausting heat out as well. And then you've got the other um, tower fan, obviously, over the CPU. And then just these. So these are exhausting. These are exhausts. This is an exhaust, and this is where it pulls the air in, all the air in, because obviously these are, these are big fans. These are 100 and, I think is it 144 millimeter fans? I think that's what the, the cold or whatever they're called, the, the, the big chunky boy fans anyway. And they're all connected because I didn't have no PWM connectors. They were just connected to a control board when I had the 2600. <coughs> And then you'd have this little, um, little crappy Chinese kind of light illumination thing, but it also had ability to speed up and speed down the fans. I lost that controller a long time ago. I don't know where it went. And <clears throat> I think Rio probably played with it and moved it and put it somewhere. So I got these because he's connected to the motherboard and then the motherboard can obviously send a signal out. And it works with these kind of programs where this program now will then pick up on what the temperatures are and they'll speed up and slow down the fans based on obviously what's happening within the case. And that's what I've done here in, uh, in, in this case. Um, but yeah, the, the temperatures are pretty warm. Um, so definitely if you're gonna get a 5950X in the future, or or whatever make sure you get the probably get the water cooling um block that sits on top of the fan and then the free exhaust fans uh because that is running pretty warm uh that comes tomorrow i was hoping it's coming today because i did order it last night and it said uh order now and get it tomorrow but for some weird reason we don't get to get it today it'll be tomorrow it'll come so I've just got to wait and see how we go. I'm just downloading uh, VR for um, Payday 2, as you can see. And I thought we'd play a bit of Payday 2, a little bit of difference. Have a bit of fun with it. <clears throat> Doesn't generally take too long to download. So we should be okay. Um... You know, that does say it's going to take, what, two hours? It shouldn't take two hours. Yeah, we've got full download and upload.
It should be done anyway. Hopefully. If not, we could probably play something else. Um, I kind of tempted to play some more Half-Life 2, but uh, hopefully we can get it done. I've been so busy with the computer yesterday, I didn't get a chance to download it yesterday. Um, so we'll just have to see. Hopefully, fingers crossed, and fingers, and we get it to get it running. We've got a good two hours um, to run. Well, half eight, half nine, well, about an hour and a half. No, half eight, half nine, half ten. About two hours, about two hours, so it should be done by then. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it here, short and sweet. I just wanted to let you know we've got the new Ryzen 9. There we go. And uh, we should be good to go. Everything should be good. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to see how well this performs. Uh, it's a lot, lot better. The, the FPS is way, way better. Obviously, um, I don't want to do any tweaking with MSI or changing anything at the moment due to the fact that the temperatures, to me, feel a little bit unstable. Um, now, obviously this CPU has been said it, it is supposed to run hot, hotter than normal, but I'm kind of, you know, a, a little bit weary about it. Uh, we'll just see how we go, but we should have the AIO tomorrow. I know it should be good anyway, so there you go. Anyway, this is Ida Convict sign out as always. I salute you. Don't forget also my merch is available. Hashtag number one convict. Um, if you want to just go into the tabs at the top on YouTube, go to the one that says store and click on that. It is the store is linked to my YouTube channel. So you can go through YouTube and it'll take you directly to the store and you can order this lovely t-shirt or get it on a sweater or get it on hoodie. All different types of things, cups and all sorts, even stickers. So uh, check it out. Salute and bye for now.